Welcome to day 19 of the 25 days of Canva tips and tricks. Today, what I'm going to demonstrate is how you can create your own binder rings if you don't want to purchase them on different market in different marketplaces. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sherry from SherryLumiller.com. If you've been following me for a while, welcome back. <laughs> let's get started with today's tutorial. So let's get started demonstrating how you can create your own binder rings inside of Canva with various shapes as well as text. But first, even on the pro account, if you didn't want to create your own, because I just started playing around with this to give me a little bit more flexibility with the colors. So I'm not an expert, but I think it's good to go with this demonstration. I own quite a few. Um, but if you go under element and you put in binder rings, You get several, but you want, if you don't have a pro account and you select free, you do still have an option here. And it also allows you to change the colors. So the black, let me make this a little larger. You could change the gray. Let's say you went with a somewhat of a gold. And instead of this gray, let's, let's select this and then make it a little darker so that almost looks bronze so you can start with what canva has as a free binder ring and manipulate the colors to something that might help um, work with a, work better with your particular planner you'll see the white in here and that's just the lighting which i still struggle with to do that but if you use this, this is more of a single page, which is what we've been working on. So if we went back to the design that we've been working on throughout this challenge, we could copy it here. And you can see that's not the right color. Let's um, just use a little bit more transparency so that might, no, that doesn't work well at all. So let's do background so let's maybe use this red this will probably stand out more I'm just going to resize this to fit the diagram you could crop it if we were actually doing something with this and we're going to position it to the back so if I make this larger you can see this is like a half sheet. This is what you would use if you're just using a one page planner. You'd want the rings that are that only have the black circles on one side, which is just indicative an indication that is supposedly going through the paper like a binder ring. <laughs> so you see, um, we'll undo all of that so you can see it again. So that's what you would use in this case. So the first option is you can actually use the free version from Canva and just modify the colors because this came in as silver. Now, if we go back to these, the two of these are if you had a planner that was open left side, right side, and then you'd have the binder rings going down the middle. So to recreate this particular ring, we're going to use parentheses. And I'm actually going to use the font type Open Sand. I'm going to make that bold. And then I'm going to make a parenthesis. I'm going to make this a lot larger. And that doesn't work, so I'm going to try a different font that will have a little bit more roundness to it. So I use this one, and then I change the orientation. Now to create these, these are just black circles. I'm going to hit the C on my keyboard, change the color to black, and then resize it. So let me make this a little smaller for the time being. All right. And we're going to resize this. So that just makes it look like, look like it's going through the paper. It's like the little metal ring. Copy it, paste it, put it on the other side. You need to position this to the back. And then you can move this around as necessary. 
Now that is what I did here. If you want, I'm not very good with shadowing, so I'm not going to attempt to demonstrate that. But there are, since this is text, there is the option to put the lift here, which may give it some dimension. So if you wanted to do that, you could. I'm going to copy this and paste it multiple times. So I've added a page and I'm going to paste this and continue spacing it out. And then we'll tidy it up when we're done. So typically on a happy planner, the classic is nine binder rings. The big ones are 11. So we're going to do about 10 or 11. See how that works out. That is three, what is that? Two, four, six, seven, eight, 11. Now here, we're going to highlight them all under position, do vertical, and tidy them up. Now I've created somewhat of a planner here. We're going to make it bigger. This is just a square with a wood background to make it look like maybe it's on the table or something, and then two white rectangles. I've locked them in place so as we're manipulating the rings, they won't shift. Now obviously this is going to be too big but we're going to have to resize them. So we're going to copy all of these here and we're going to paste them on top of this. Now we need to resize these to fit. And if we center that, make that a little larger, you can see that it looks like a two page document with the rings. Now you can make these any color that you want because for this background, it's kind of blending in. But when I made the original parentheses, since that is basically a text box, make it whatever color that you would like for it to be. In order to make this style of a ring, we're going to click on the half circle shape. You can search for that in the element. This is a gradient design, so if you want, you can change the color and just make the white the same color. So we're going to stick with the turquoise and go back. And now to do this, those are just circles again. So tapping this C on my keyboard, making that black, resizing it to fit, and then position it behind the half circle. Bring this to the front. And then you have what appears to be a binder ring. Now, in order to use this, we can use this on the same layout that we used earlier here, and we can paste this. Now, obviously, this is too large, so we would make that a little smaller, resize it, and make. we're only going to do maybe about five, and then we'll tidy them up, center them. Now, if you want, you probably need more, and those are still a little large, so you can make those a little smaller. Space them closer together, or you could space them out and just have two here. Maybe two in the center. And two at the top. So that's how that would look. And it looks like the binder rings in the papers uh, the planner is open. If you wanted to create your half ring for a single page, all I've done on this is, let me ungroup that, it's basically cropped the image. So that was the ha same half circle that I've cropped and then put just on one side with the black circle and made it look as if it was a one page, designed for a one page planner. So I hope you found value in today's tip. It was just to give you some options that if you don't wanna purchase binder rings, you can create your own. Now, if you're a free user, there's just the one to choose from, but you can manipulate the colors. If you're a pro user, there are other choices. So don't forget, if you found value in today's tip, please give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I record a video. Have a good one and I'll see you on day 20.